Hi, I'm Dr. Jenny Gray, and this is my message to you from the future. Here at Zoos Victoria, we've been working really hard to understand what animals think and feel. And we've managed to work out exactly what animals are thinking through some fairly advanced technology that allows us literally to read the thoughts of animals. I'm here in the Bobo bunker with the last remaining population of Bobo frogs. We've had our best success with animals like frogs. Their thoughts are much simpler. These are little juveniles. And they're sending me a message just saying they're really hungry. And they're hoping that they're going to get some crickets later. Here we have our adolescents, the ones that are just coming up to breeding age. And they're really only interested right now in, in still food and in females. And they're a little bit aggressive towards each other. The males are starting to get a bit anced up, so I'll let the keepers know about that. What we have found really interesting is how the more mature frogs think. The guys on this side, the older group, we found them to be almost philosophic. They spend a lot of time worrying about the future. While this is amazing technology and allows me to talk to the frogs, what I'm also getting are updates from the field. We can see that the koalas are pretty unhappy at the moment about the state of the trees being destroyed. Oh yeah, and the mountain pygmy possums are just notified that they're all going into hibernation. And it looks like the lead beater possums are worried about whether or not they should breed this season because they can't justify having offspring in such a dangerous climate. Their thinking has got us thinking. And we're thinking about all the animals out there doing it tough. Sending you the message back to the past that we can change the situation by just looking after the habitat. What do you think of that? Oh yeah, look, he got the cricket.